Um, you know, certainly pleased with the win today. Um, I thought our, you know, we did a lot of good things, you know, some things we could do better. The, the main takeaway from this game was just getting Alex going again. You know, we, he'd had a couple games where I thought his defense was good, but we, we hadn't established him as a scorer down on the block. And, you know, today that was a big, and we really challenged because uh, SIU's two better guys were their two big guys. Fiorentinos and Macanjula were, were really putting up good numbers, you know, scoring and rebounding. So we challenged him and Joey, and I thought those guys really took, a, took control of that position. So uh, that was really good. Um, you know, certainly the shooting of Aaron and, and Tap in the second half, you know, they're, you know, we didn't make shots early, and that's kind of who we are. I mean, you guys know that. I mean, we're a team that moves the ball. Um, we got to penetrate and kick, find open people, and when we have our shots, we got to take them. And the first half, we, it, we got, you know, off to a tough start. I thought shooting the ball, even though we had great looks, and then uh, second half, we were able to open it up a little bit and uh, make some shots, and it was those two kids in particular. So. I uh, thought everybody contributed. Everybody gave us good minutes. And uh, uh, going into finals, it's always good to you know feel good about winning. And it's never, it's never the easiest game to play right before final exams, especially when you're at a school like ours, where our guys care about you know both academics and athletics. So, you know, their minds are a little bit, a little bit off you know, from where they normally are during the course of the season. So uh, we got eight days now. I think we're a little bit banged up. You know, we're a little bit tired. Uh, we got eight days now to get our legs back, hopefully finish up the quarter well academically, and uh, be ready to go next Sunday. Open for questions. Um, you talked right away about Alex. Was it really like a concerted effort to get him the ball early, or was it yeah. more just him being active himself? I think a combination of both. You know, I think... Uh, um, you know, we a lot of times we run the first play, you know, to get try to get him the ball, just to get him in. We did, and he scored, which was huge. Um, and I thought that kind of, you know, he loses confidence sometimes offensively. He has his whole career. That's who he is, and he's gotten better with that. And I thought the last couple games he's lost a little bit of his confidence offensively, not with the defense. And uh, to see him see the ball go in, especially in that first half, I saw him kind of back to be in the Alex that we need. So it was, I think, a combination of both, to answer your question. I mean, we really wanted to establish them. Uh, we felt like that if they did go to their zone, we would be able to overload a side and, and get some mismatches down low with him against smaller guys. We were able to do that, and he got some layups, which I thought was huge. And, um, and I thought Joey gave us good minutes. He got in foul trouble a little bit, but five block shots, six points, eight rebounds. I, th I thought that position for us was really good today. Uh, but earlier, like early in your career, sometimes when he was playing against smaller guys, he wouldn't dominate them like people yeah. like would think that he would be able to. Yeah. Like, what's the difference? Like, why was he able to do that? Yeah, I just think experience and you know just belief. I mean, um, I've said it a lot with Alex: the power of confidence and belief and work. I mean, he's put the work in. I mean, he's a he's a much different player now than he was when he was a younger guy. And um, I just like the way he responded. I mean, he, there was no one that was more frustrated than after Virginia Tech than Alex. I mean, he knew, you know, he, he should have been more efficient offensively for us. And um, he really worked the last couple days. And I thought, I thought I just, I could sense in the locker room before the game. You know, I, I was hoping it would happen for him. I just felt like he was ready to break out and, and, uh, and he did, which was great. How big was it today not to have to rely on Trey and Bryant for a big part of the scoring load? Have yeah, some other guys it's, step up. it's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, uh, those guys have carried us, and they will carry us on many nights. But for us to score 81 points and have those guys only have 18 of them, you know, but then they had 15 assists. So, I mean, 15 assists and four turnovers for those two kids. So I think we're showing two teams that with our shooting ability, if you want to try to take those guys out of the game, that we can hurt you from other guys. And I think that's good going forward. We have shooters. We have big guys who can score. And um, I thought it was good for other guys, you know, for, for the whole team to be able to see, you know, it, it, they only get 18 of our 80 points. You know, we, we, get, we get a lot of production from a lot of other guys, which I thought was tremendous. Second half, was that more a factor of guys like Taphorn foul zone getting going than yeah. Scotty? Yeah, you know, really, guys, like you see with our rotation, um, it's kind of coming to fruition. You know, uh, 
I feel pretty good about where we're finding with this team. You have Sanjay and Gavin who kind of sub for each other. You, similar type guys, energy guys who bring physicality, rebounding, toughness. Uh, Joey and Alex kind of sub for each other. Um, you know, then we have those three guys who are kind of our shooters, Scotty, Tap, and, and Aaron. And you've kind of seen the last three games. I, I just go with whoever has it rolling. You know, I mean, against uh, uh, the game Scotty had 26 last week in New Orleans. You know, he played most of the game. Uh, then against Virginia Tech, it was Taphorn. You know, Taphorn played great. We rode him out. He played 20-something minutes. And tonight, it was Aaron. So, you know, it's, that's kind of just a feel for me. I feel like all three of those guys are good players. They all played double-figure minutes. You know, one played 14, one played 24, and one played 11. So they're all going to get in there, and whoever kind of has it going, I'm going to ride a little bit more. So it was more nothing against him. It was just I thought Aaron uh, and then Tap when he came in, I thought those guys were playing well, so I stayed with those two. So you have this eight-day break now through eight games. Uh, how do you assess where your team is, uh, especially adjusting to losing Vic early in the year? Yeah. Um, where do you think your team is now and have your expectations moving forward into Big Ten season and the rest of the non-conference season changed at all? Yeah. I mean, uh, you guys know me with expectations. I mean, I – I expect a lot of, of my teams and myself, and so my expectations don't change. I mean, my expectations are to go into every game and have a great chance to win, whoever we're playing. And what we've tried to really do with this team is simplify it. Like with each, and I know it's cliche, and I hate cliches, but like every game, like let's not even look at a pocket of games or what's coming down the pike or the Big Ten. We have this game in front of us. Let's put everything into this game. Let's try to win this game, and then let's let the dust settle. And I think you guys are seeing all over the country, there's crazy upsets, like things are happening crazy in college basketball this year. That's why you just have to handle your own business. Uh, I feel we're getting better. Um, you know, I feel like I said, I'm, I'm getting a feel for rotation, how to use the guys. You know, I, I think we're a very dangerous offensive team. Uh, our efficiency offensive, uh, offensively is very good. Uh, we, have, we can shoot the ball. We have tremendous guards. And when our big guys are playing well, I think we have all the components to be very hard to guard. We have to continue to improve defensively. You know, uh, I think we're getting better. Our heart is in the right place. Um, but you know, right now we're a little bit more ahead offensively than we are defensively. And so as we continue to move forward, you know, we got to continue to shore up that end of the floor so there's a good balance. So if there's a night you know, where we do get into a defensive battle that we can win a game like that. It doesn't have to be just making shots and, and, and winning a high scoring game. So uh, again, like where we're at, we had a long way to go where hopefully we can be a lot better. But uh, if you would have said to me, uh, through eight games, you know, you're going to win, you're going to win seven out of eight. Um, you know, the way you've won them, win close games, win some close games away from home. Um, I would have taken that in a heartbeat. So I'm, I'm pleased with where the team is at right now. Sort of another variation of that question. Because this non-conference schedule isn't the strongest, do you feel pressure to go 12-1 and in non-conference now? I'm really not looking at it like that. I mean, uh, again, I'm just looking to win the next game. So, I mean, I, really, and, and I know you can say that's BS or whatever. I... I just want to win the next game in front of us, and I want to play good basketball. I want to play good basketball. Uh, I want to, f I want to feel like we're getting better. You know, I want there to be a good chemistry. I, I just want there to be a good feel about our team, and I do feel that. And you know, even in the game we did lose to North Carolina, I might have felt the best after a game after that game than any other game, because when we walked into that locker room, I saw a team that believed they could be good. You know, they played against maybe the best team in the country. And, you know, we lost the game. And we were disappointed about that. But I saw looks on guys' faces like, you know what, guys? We can do some things this year. And so I felt really good uh, about that. And then to come back 18 hours later and to beat Missouri, you know, that's not easy to do right after playing North Carolina. So, uh, and then going on the road and beating an ACC team when you're losing in overtime. You're winning the whole game. They take the lead in overtime and you got to dig down and win the game on the road. So uh, we've showed a lot of heart. We've showed a lot of good stuff. Um, let's, just play, let's just play the next couple games, the next one in front of us. And then when it comes to the Big Ten, let's see where we're at. So there's no, we're not putting 12 and one on the board or 11 and two or 10, we're not. We're literally, our motto with this team is, who is our next game and what do we need to do to win that next game? And then we'll figure out who we play next. Chris, go back to Scotty a minute. You used him alongside um, Brian tonight, and you mm -hmm. used him alongside Trey tonight. Yeah. Are you 
tinkering with the idea of using him at the two, or you're trying to? Yeah, learn no, he can, can play there a little bit. And you know what I'm trying to do is get Bryant and Trey a little more rest. You know, uh, we're so much better when they're when they're on the floor. But I I, I really thought. Uh, I didn't do a good job in the Virginia Tech game of getting Trey some rest early. I thought he was tired in the second half. You know, I think he was like two for 11 in the second half against Virginia, and some of that was just fatigue. Um, so, you know, Scotty, Jordan, you know, those are guys that need to be ready to, to give those guys. You, you see I try to sub them a lot around the media timeouts, whether it be right before the 12-minute, right before the 8-minute. So sometimes you might be able to give them like two minutes rest of game time, but really like five minutes rest. So I, I'd, like to get, I'd like to get those guys at least one break a half. Um, and obviously with the score tonight, I didn't have to play them the last five minutes, uh, which was nice. So the, their minutes weren't crazy. So it's, uh, it's something that we're still figuring out. But Scotty is a guy who can slide over there and play a little bit. All right, guys, thank you. See you next week. Tell Jesse I'm mad at him.